way back to the trail and we're gonna do some slack packing today um, we should be there right around 7 maybe just a few minutes after and it's raining and windy but it's gonna be fun it will be fun <laughs> is letting up so now we're warming up and I'm trying to open pit zips and I don't dare quite take my coat off yet because it'll just start raining again but I'm trying to air out <laughs> that shower yesterday didn't take long to make that null and void <laughs> here's what the trail's looking like right now operator is flying fast today he is gone, long gone <laughs> Yep. Just took a quick break, stopped and filled up our water because there's not water for, I don't know, another 4.8 miles maybe. And, but that's, it's not hot out, so that's fine. And then I just wanted to say today is day four and it is April 12th. I forgot to say that this morning. And now in about point two, we're gonna pass the campground we were originally gonna stop at last night. But then our plan for the first week will still end up where we wanted to tonight, so. Because we're slack packing, we can do a few more miles, so it'll be great. All right, down the road we go. Here's the turnout for the campsite. I, but uh, that's where we should have stayed last night. <laughs> we are going to get to where we're going to stay tonight. Thankfully, the trail smoothed out some. It was so rocky. There's an ankle break in there for a few minutes, for like half a mile at least. Smooth that a little. It's gonna be lunchtime soon, I think. Sun's coming in and out a little bit. I haven't taken off my raincoat because it's so windy. Can't decide if I want it on or off. More rocks. Just scrambled up some. And now we have some more. It's not too bad though, it was way worse than this before, so. breaking for lunch at the next shelter. It's, like, I don't know how far it is. Maybe 0.7-ish? Maybe? Not sure, but I'm ready for a lunch break. Have a snack breakdown at Ensign Powell Memorial Shelter. And now we're heading on. Operator chair off ahead. I got there a few minutes later, so I spent a few extra minutes resting. And now, um, in a mile, Philip's going to meet us with the car, but we're not picking up our stuff yet. He's going to go down the road a little further, but he's just popping in there to, I don't know, say hi. <laughs> anyway. That view, oh, it's beautiful. Going through fields is so beautiful. Oh, 
dog boards. Still 2.3 to get to camp. Even though I've been slack packing, I've been pretty slow today because of all the rocks and my foot hurts. So anyway, slow going, but I'm getting there. 2.3 to go. And I don't know, 1.5 I think. I stop and pick up my all my gear with Viking. So last 0.8 will be fully loaded. And it's, you know, up, because that's how that always goes, but that's okay. These cool rocks. That's very cool. That is a glorious sight. I hope, hopefully, it's not too far down this way to get to the shelter and tenting and all that. Because I am beat. It has been a very long day. It's almost seven and I still gotta set up and eat and do all the fun stuff. Woo, baby. All right. Whew, made it to the, back into the tent. We made dinner and um, in the tent, there's, there's a shelter here. I'll show you what that looks like in the morning. It's a pretty nice looking shelter. There's several people in there. There's probably room if we wanted to, but we both wanted to set up our own tents. And, um, my feet were freezing. I had to get in my tent and take off. My socks were all wet, water crossing, and I ended up, both feet got wet. So um, the other day it was really hot and today it was so windy that my feet were freezing. So I get, finally get my socks off and I'm gonna put on some dry ones and then just kind of get changed up and ready for bed. So I hope you guys all had a fantastic day and I'll see you in the morning.